Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Title of our project is Router Support for Fine Grain Latency Measurements. Abstract of our project is Automated Trading and High Performance Computing have threatened end to end latency acquirement. Main concept of our project is how to measure the delay time to the sending and receiving packets. It also measures the loss of packets. One more thing, fine grain measurement demands cannot be met effectively. So, we can use the proposed system of our project is to implementing routers with a as base primitive to calculate the loss of target with microseconds used as the LDA that means lossy difference aggregator LDA does not modify or encapsulate the packet it can be deployed incrementally without changes on the forwarding path and then a functional deployment architecture called MPAN using LDA for intra router measurement and localized segment measurement we can move on the data flow diagram of our project this is our data flow diagram of our project it will contain a step by step process of our project it have and review the three developer process of this project level 0 level 1 and level 2 first we can go on the first level of the project that is a level 0 the level 0 is called as center level process sorry center level process you can close and get a file on the center and view the file contents in before separation next it can separate the packets to the get file you view the file contents in after separation of the packet finally separated packets are sent to the router then the router receive the packet and store the database now we can move on the level 1 process of this project router received the file from the center then it view the packet in the queue and also view the status of the packet at the same time view the status of the splitting packet giving the receiver ip address and then finally file sent to server finally we can move on the level 2 that is the receiver receiver can convert to the splitting packets into the merging packet that is the file then get the file view the file name and the file contents with status of the file next move the result analysis level that is also view the receive file name and view the received packet size and the delay time of the sending and receiving packet view it time is calculated as the packet per second finally the receiver level view the last packet and then delay time to the short next we can move on the running stage of our project now view the three different phase in our project first phase is called as fine grain latency measurement or client phase and it also called as center phase then the second phase is called as router window space because it get the separated packets from the center option <coughs> next we can see the third phase is the receiver window or server phase then it is having the receiver window types view the receiver phase as the starting stage as the ideal state then move on the first phase that means client phase or center phase first click the browse button and then get the file name file and the file path and also the file contents is viewed on the page then file contents is viewed before packet separation and then click the split button then the splitting successfully of message is displayed on the page then click the ok option you can view this after packet separation and the file contents is viewed on this page now we can select the router button then we can see the message in the page then file transfer successfully in the router that they, that is it is view the file is successfully transferred as the router phase then now we can move on the router phase then the router phase having the queue window and status window option then uh, then it has also having the two different types of buttons first button view the queue window of separated packets name file name pack packet names and also click the another view button that is viewed as the status window of the, of the packet that is the number of packets is rooted that is well used to at the same time default packet sizes then view as the bytes okay now we can give the IP receiver IP address and click the send button you can also view the message in this page then file transfer is successfully on the server now we can move on the receiver window in the receiver window having the received file name that is viewed on this page also received file contents and the file contents viewed in this and packet size is viewed as you can see that received file contents is also off before separate packet because then the packet is re received on the server that is merged and then view the file contents that the same time at the same time we can see the data has been received message on this server page now we can click the measurement of the packet size then click it button 
then measure the last packet size with delay time that having the received file name that the file name is received file name is viewed on this page at the same time loss of packet size <coughs> loss of packet size is also viewed in this page delay time that is also viewed on the size delay time is particularly displayed on displayed with the seconds okay next we can click the chart button that is viewed to the different types last packet and then at the same time the delay time of this packet already we can see the branch demo but now we can see about the how how to the different types of files having the different types of loss of packet and delay time so get the file first then open it and the splitting the file then send the router option you can see that read all files in bytes and the file transfer successfully message display on the screen next you can move on the router window move on the router window you can do the queue window option and also status window you can view the client server option tools packets splitting packets name and also number of packets routed and default packet size in bytes now you can give the ip address then click then the read all file read ip address server ip write file into the folder this file transfer successfully message display at the same time packets and accessibility message also displayed now we can move on the receiver window you can see the receiver file name and receiver file contents and packet size so uh, now first we can view the data has been received message on this page now measurement of the page received file name loss of packet size and delay time then click the chart option we can see the difference between the first file having 22 and second file having 27 delay time thank you